Well, hello everyone. Scratching my head and welcome back to this. Let's play Battle Tech, or as my wee one's taken to call it, Battle Fletch. For some reason he thinks that T is an F and an L and he calls it Battle Fletch. So yes, Battle Fletch. Let's get going on. That's not his best uh, mispronunciation. Mis mis I can't even say it. Mispronunciation, by the way. My favourite one is his spaghetti bolognese. He calls it spaghetti holidays. I just think that is hilarious. But yes, we are in a wee bit of money problems here. We're in orbit around some place. We need to get ourselves on a contract. So let's take a look. There's one on this planet, a supply base, or there's one. That will pay for our travel a wee bit away. I think we're going to do this one because I need a cash injection right here, right now, and then I can always then go travel and do this one. I need, I, I need the money. I need the money right here, right now. No delay. Just give me the money. Give me the money. Now this one, I think it does pay for the travel. The contracts includes travel to Detroit, seventeen days. But is that included in that, or is that included? Up front, I don't know, we might know. Anyway, two months worth of money, we need more. Gorillas and Belfron are supposedly well armed and well supplied, and Mark forces are taking unacceptable losses in recent engagements. We've tracked their weapons back to a hidden supply base operated by the locals. The base needs to be destroyed. Assaulting fixed defences always is always a mess, Commander. Fixed guns and placements can be targeted for your units from clear across the battlefield. Stay alert. Okay. Let's negotiate. I want one piece of salvage, but I want extra money. Give me the moolah! Accept. Let's see. The Lich is hurt at the moment. So, yep. Decker's in his little spider. We got Medusa taking Glitch's Vindicator out for a ride, Behemoth and Shadowhawk, me in the Blackjack. Right, let's go. We shall deploy on this mission. Preparing for combat. Destroy structures in smuggling base and escape. So we need to escape. Ooh. Command interface initiated. Our intel is right. There aren't any nearby reinforcements, but there is fixed guns in placements. Move up, neutralize the turrets, and level that base. Watch out for the garrison, Commander. It's nothing too dangerous, but every bit, da every bit of damage costs. Olivia, Olivia, he's out. So, i.e., this mission's more about minimizing your damage so it doesn't cost you too much. Waiting for orders. Start off with Decker. On it. Just get everyone running on up. Initial enemy contact. Right. Unknown vehicle. Minimum reinforced building. Small military building. Small military building. Major military building. Major military building. I was hoping there'd be a turret control somewhere, but I don't see one. Location confirmed. Now, there's nothing on him, so I may sensor lock this. Sensors locked on. Boom. My turn. Because I can already shoot missiles at him, and he's got no whatever you want to call it so right orders 
No way I can get a direct line of fire. Or is that a direct one? Nope. Alright, over we come then. On my way. Right, odds of hitting him, 70. Odds of hitting him, 50. Right, we'll go for the 70. Fire! The LRM! Some light damage, none big. My turn. Orders. Imagine we're gonna be in the same situation with you. Seventy-five percent chance to hit. Fifty-five. We'll go for this one. Ah, the LRM. I nearly worked my way through the armor. And I'm going to. Haha! -ha! Jump up here. Engaging jump now I've got Lena State on both. So I'm going to multi target because I don't think I'm going to need everything to take out this guy, especially how he's damaged already. We'll fire the AC2s over there and the medium lasers over here. Fire! Engaging multiple targets. Yay! We destroyed half their garrison already. That's not bad. Enemy contact. Here it comes. Moving on over. Right, my turn. Receiving you. Decker have a shimmy on over here. It's an unknown turret. Not sure sensor lock this or the turret. Misa thinks the turret's more of a fray. Got a lock. And this was gonna just move anyway. Plus I may be able to get a line of sight to it now that it's moved. Nope, nearly though. I can get a line of sight to it from here though. What's up, boss? Got it. Let's go with you first though. No multi target for you yet, so. Take the LRM off. We'll fire the SRM, the multi laser, and the AC5. That's bound to be enough to kill the scorpion. It's in the side as well. Hey, there we go. I've still no idea how much firepower it's going to take to destroy a little vehicle. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Standing by. Let's bring you on over. Fire LRM. Engage. Light sniper turret. You still got a good line of sight to the sniper turret from over here. Just come on over. And fire your AC twos. Eh, good job, me. Target destroyed. I knew I made the right decision on that turret, scanning it. So far, we're doing great at minimizing damage, I'm not taking a single scratch. What now the there's fuck? none of them on the radar, so let's quickly Confirm. sprint. Ah, no, no, sprint everyone, sprint everyone. Damn it! I didn't get to move the last two. I knew I shouldn't have moved Decker so far up. I should have done these two first. But I'm learning. Yes, we've got a turret there, turret there, turret there, vehicle there. Yes, Commander. So Decker. Let's actually reserve you. Yeah. Uh, 
haven't shot at you yet. I don't feel I need a sensor lock yet. I've got that light sniper turret to deal with. Let's just stand still. Fire the AC2s. Not that one, actually. The others might be able to see that one pretty easily. Let's go for this one. All structure exposed, did heavy damage, but not enough to take it out. Right, behemoth. Standing by. I really wish you had multi-target right now. This is so much stuff I want to shoot at. Let's turn the LRM on. Just, oh, should I finish that or should Ah, Stop go for it, go hard. for it. Yes, got it. Who else was a wee bit worried I was going to leave on next to no health? That turret is gone. Like the other one. Like, actually, Decker. Commander. Jump because it gives you extra, gives you extra visions. Like so. Then use your medium lasers to finish this off. Giving them everything I've got. One less turret. Yeah. Medusa can sprint to try and catch up. Roger that. Because I'm not worried about destroying the buildings yet, because they can't damage me. I want vision on both. So let's go like so. There we go, go vision to everything now. Two medium lasers be enough to take out a striker? I really do not know. Let's find out. Firing a full salvo. Hey it was! I would destroy the garrison. Right, come on over here and get your AC twos on this guy. Ha! The one's not enough to do it. It's just nearly enough. Commander, I copy. Which means unfortunately we're going to have to waste your uh, whole turn that's worth of shooting to fire your LRMs at this. There we go. Turret destroyed. Alright, now it doesn't matter, just, uh, just attack. Ah! Heavy damage to an enemy structure. Bring it down. Ah! Locking on target. Good to go. Ah! Locked on target. Well, seriously, it's got a tiny bit of health left. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Hi, building. Flatten that one. Good shot, Commander. Enemy structure down. Copy. Oh, oops, I sprinted you. I was meant to shoot you. Oh well. I forgot all those sprints when you're not actually fighting anyone. 
Ah, the big building. Deco. Finish it off. Locked on. Oh, it survived. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. Good job. I could do this all day. Receiving you. Ah. Target confirmed. Another one back to dust. Ah! Locked on target. Good to go. Take care, finish this one off. Firing on target. You missed! You missed the side of a barn, Decker! Right, where's the LZ? Oh! We wiped everyone out, so we don't need to go to the planned LZ. She'll just pick me up here. Happy days. Done. Mission successful. Without even a scratch. Which, uh, we destroyed the local government garrison. We got an extra 25%. Hidden objective, destroy base turrets. We destroyed all the turrets, so we got an extra 10% payment. Lovely! No damage whatsoever. Uh, there was no mechs in that, so there's no cores to take, but what is the thing I want the most out of this? Uh, an AC5, I think. Confirm. Right, I'm going to pause recordings because I need to take a party break. Huh? What's that? Wait, wait, wait. What's this? Ah, okay. Yeah, pause time. Party break. And we should be back. I forgot to... I forgot that I can't post-balance my sound. So I hope the game wasn't too loud as of yet. Uh, I turned the game down a wee bit because I think it was a wee bit too loud, though I'm not 100% sure. I need to check post recording and make sure everything's fine. But I can see now I'm a wee bit louder than the music, and this music's louder than most of what the game was before, so. Right, let's see. Alright, everyone, gather around. After our last talk, I bit the bullet, and I started fishing around for uncertified contacts. Contracts. And I might, I repeat, might have caught us something. Who's the client? Unknown. She didn't ID herself in the message, but she claims to be a member of the Canopian elite. She says that she's got a big job lined up and she wants us for it. Us specifically. She called the commander out by name. How would she even know about us in the first place? Isn't like we're drowning in publicity out here. Hey, looks like our luck has finally changed. She's got good taste in mercenaries, whoever she is. Yeah, I'll take the top one. Good question. And I'm betting we don't have an answer. You're certain this client isn't really a bounty hunter? Because I can list about five different banks that I'd love, that'd love to repos re re repossess this ship. We're shopping for uncertified contracts behind the review board's back, Yang. Hell no, I'm not certain. But for what it's worth, I can confirm that she's rich. She's reached out to us with a high priority HPG message, and those things ain't cheap. Rich is good, I like rich. We'll meet with uh, this new mystery client, but that's all we'll do until we hear her pitch. It sounds like a step in the right direction, at least. that one I think that's fair commander we need to follow up on this that doesn't mean we can't be cautious a meeting is just a meeting what's the worst that could happen our new client vents us in out the airlock and our corpses spend the rest of forever tumbling through icy waste fastness of space thanks for that delightful image Yang blood I'll admit this is sketchy as hell 
but it's also the best lead we're likely to find. If you want to follow up, plot a course for Belafron. The client will be waiting. The contract to meet our Kurupian mystery client is ready for review in the command centre. Take a look when you're ready, Commander. Our mech warriors have picked up a fair amount of combat experience, so spend experience. And don't forget you can check the state of the finances. Yes, 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 yes. Right, barracks. We have experience. Right, there is me. I think I'm going to want to get guts. Or piloting. I want it to be extra evasive. Or do I want to be extra gutsy? Successful melee attacks, ignoring your target back, uh, move your target back one initiative step. That sounds quite good. What are the bonuses for getting guts up plus a health? Well, I think I'm invincible. Plus one to the unsteady threshold. This makes melee attacks stronger. I really want to be able to punch them back in initiative state. I'm like, boom, you're punched into yesterday or tomorrow, whatever. No guts, no glory. Definitely want to go for one of these. Because tactics is sensor lock and then it has a master tactician. An extra evasive, these gains guarded against ranged attacks in the front side when remains stationary. Basically standing still versus moving around a lot. I think I'd rather have the evasion, I'd rather they just didn't hit me than a 50% damage reduction. Then again, if they're firing at me with like five weapons, well, we'll say four weapons to make the mass simple. If they're firing at me with four weapons, what was it? And the extra evasion will probably only drop their percentage to hit by like say 10%. I don't know what the exact numbers are, but we'll just say 10% because that sounds about right. So, say it was going to be 50% to hit me with those four, uh, let's say four medium lasers. It's now going to be 40% to hit me with those four medium lasers, and I'm still probably going to get hit with two of them, on average. Was it? So that's full damage from two of them, but with ball work, if I stand still, oh, but then I'll be losing the other evasions, and the other evasions will all add up, and I'll get like three, so that'll be like 30% off, which I estimate will be 30% off. Then they can strip evasion away, though. They can't strip ball work away. Oh. I keep thinking of other things. Okay, my simple maths I was going to do at the beginning. Ma I was going to math hammer it a wee bit, see which one I thought was better. But I just realised that it's not as simple as I thought it was. You know what? I don't have to make this decision right now. I just realised we're only going to get in the three or the four. So I think I'm just going to put it into piloting because it has a better base thingy here. Confirm. Mech warrior training complete. It has gives me ten percent melee hit and one plus one to my unsteady threshold versus what was gonna be one extra health. And considering this guy's invincible, I'm not that bothered about him getting four injuries uh, three injuries in a battle. But that will take him out of action for that battle I think. I'm not sure. Orders. Right. Definitely want gunnery. Definitely want gunnery. Want that multi-target on as many people as possible. Commander. Right, Decker. And save your points for this. You really that piloting will actually help you a lot. You're gonna be my scout type character. Waiting Glitch. No experience. Good to go. Medusa. Let's confirm that. So then you've got four in everything. Because you're my backup pilot and you're good all round at the moment, so we don't need to decide where you're going. Rampage, no experience. Right. Command center. Priority mission. Travel to Belfort to meet your new client. 
get a teeny bit of money, but I think that's just for meeting them you get that money. Meanwhile, wait, am I already here? I just need to deploy. I'm already here. I'll be as well getting the money then. We're already in the system we need to be. That was quite lucky. Ana Marie Cartera. Carn Centerella. Centerella? Centra. Missy. Right. Hi, Missy. Mr. Olivera. Thank you for honouring my request to meet. I am Missy. You've heard of my family, I'm sure. Missy. That's, this, this is quite a surprise. I wouldn't expect a member of the Missy royal family to even know who we are, let alone approach us with in such a non-traditional manner. This isn't a traditional contract, and I don't need Comstar asking questions. Besides, there is no reason to involve the Mercenary Review Board. I already know that I want to hire you. Have I piqued your interest, Commander? Certainly, Missy. We could. We wouldn't be here if you hadn't. My interest, sure, but we'll need to hear the details before we're willing to commit to anything. Not yet, but keep talking. I think the middle one will keep our cards close to our chest. Of course, Commander Claw, I'd expect nothing less. The job that I have found for you is relatively simple. I need you to recover something for me, and I need it done quietly. Okay. In exchange for your services, I will pay down the interest on your rather sizable loans and buy you breathing room. You. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my throat suddenly got dry. No wonder, because I'm talking all this much. And buy you the breathing room you have been looking for. A fair deal, wouldn't you say? Well, yes, it sounds a wee bit too good to be true. This deal sounds like you want us to do something dodgy. How do you know about... You know what? It doesn't matter. Just tell us what, what we are supposed to be recovering. I like the recovering. This. Missy's image is replaced on screen by a grainy photograph of an enormous grounded dropship. Ramshackle structures cling to it like barnacles. She's a derelict vessel, an Argo, one of only two ever made. For over 200 years, she's been lying in a state on Axilus, a pirate moon in the heart of the frontier. I want her, and you're going to bring her to me. Well, a ship doesn't seem like that bad. Yeah, and, well, I mean that bad. I mean, I was expecting something like drugs. But, yeah, then now I think about a whole ship, how on earth? <laughs> Yang's got a point. Oh, I haven't even read at his point yet, and I'm agreeing with him. Yeah, and how exactly are we supposed to do that? I mean, that's a big ship. And she looks half cannibalized for parts. Look, you can see her ribs in the full. I'm enthusiastic about money as the next guy, but I'm a mech tech, not an aerospace engineer. I'll be damned if I can get that thing flying again. Relax, Mr. Vertinen. I have an engineer on hand to attend the Argo. The leader, Dr. Farah Murad has built quite a reputation for herself in the frontier. Uh, you'll find a jump ship waiting for you at Alloway. It'll carry you to the pirate moon where you'll clear a path to the crash site. Dr. Murad and her team will go to work on the derelict and you will protect them until the work is done. This should be well within your capabilities, Commander Claw, unless I've got the wrong company, of course. I fought against legends, lady, eh, Missy. Pirates don't worry me. So what if a hearing is you want us to play babysitter? Bunch of goose heads. Sounds like a relatively straightforward job. It should be easily within our capabilities. There we go. I'll choose the gladiator one. Then I can see no reason to why you shouldn't accept my offer. Do the job well enough, and there will be more work will waiting for you upon your return. Mr. Olivera will never find a better opportunity than the one I'm offering, Commander Claw. I can promise you that. She isn't wrong, blood. We were looking for a lifeline, and I think this is the closest we're going to get. You can handle anything you throw at us, Missy. I aim to prove 
that to you on the look. So it's okay, lady. May okay, Missy. You've got yourself some mercenaries. This feels too good to be true, but I don't see we've got a choice. Well, I'm thinking that, but I don't think I would say that out loud. I think I would say this one. But quietly keep my reservations while she's on the screen and maybe voice them once she's away. Very good. I'll forward the contract to Mr. Olivier. You know, Commander Claw, your exploits on Solaris 7 are remembered in the Majesty. I watched in the Magistracy. I watched some of your fights myself. I saw your potential. Let's hope you live up to it. The contract for Missy Derelict Recovery job is ready to review in the command center. You should follow up when you think we're ready. Right. Command center. Command. Pull up a chair. Right, so this is this one. It's 18 days travel. But I think I'm going to want to do this one. 17 days travel. Ammunition convoy. Give myself some more money under my belt. Some more experience. <coughs> wow, that's a lot of reward. Damn, that's a big reward. But the difficulty is quite high too. So yes, I think we'll do a simple mission first. Okay. Negotiate. I would want that. Extra that. Accept. And off we go! And I just went to check my alarm for the part and it's ending in four. Three, two, one. Yes, thank you, alarm. Oh, so we're going to call it a part here in a second, but we'll do this little thing first. Extension. Banging noises draws you to a shared mech warrior barracks, where you find Rampage disassembling one of the leper's internal walls. There is already several panels neatly stacked beside her. She pauses and then explains. There's a few cubic meters of dead space back here. I'm making room so we can stretch without hitting the bunks. As reasonable as it sounds, the banks aren't going to like you modifying their property. Set aside money to Rampage. If Rampage was a technician, make the change easily reversible. But she ain't. Set aside money to pay a fine. Order Rampage to put it where it was. Well, that ain't that much. That's a tiny amount, so set aside. You look Rampage in the eye. You know there's a chain of command. You know how the chain of command works. You have clear... Wait, what? You have to clear changes like this before you start. She shrugs. Well, can I? You look over Rampage's work. It's clearly... It's cleanly done with no hazards. Take a break until I make a decision. During a chat with Darius, you compare the costs of the fines to the benefits of the mech warriors and you decide it's worth it. Morale is increased by one, but we lose 20,000 monies. I think that's well worth the morale increase. Continue. And then uh, we shall call it apart here. So yes, I hope you have all enjoyed this. Thank you all for uh, being here and supporting me. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, links in the description if you want to join the Discord, any of that jazz. Thanks for your support. I'll see you all next time. Bye, bye.